Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I know it's getting cold out there and you would think that I will be doing Christmas nails but I am doing something completely different. We're gonna do some cute marble nails. Super easy and super trendy. It's trendy. <laughs> Babe, where did you get this idea from? Like how did you come up with this? Modeling uh, idea. Uh, you know, when we do nails designs, I get a lot of my ideas from just browsing Instagram and I just, I get ideas from a little bit of, from different people. Didn't you and tell me it, my was, own. it was a little mistake, but then like you kind of. Well, yes, I did, I did, I did. I kind, I, I, I tried different ways to do marbling because marble is very, very uh, different no matter how you do it. Like you can't really get the same exact look every time. So I do play around with my technique of doing marbling. So when I accidentally did it this way, it turned out really, really cute. So I thought I, I should show it to you guys because I know I've done a video of marbling, but this one is going to be a little bit different. So, um, Guys, it's actually super easy. So check it out. Hey guys, I'll be using my new favorite coffin tips. All right, these are the non-C curves. I like it a lot. It's um, I feel like it's a little bit easier than uh, to work with than the uh. DC curve ones okay so you guys have to try this one out I absolutely love it and what I usually this is how I glue on my nails right I usually just drop one little drop of glue right in the middle and then I go to press down the nails just like so and when you press down on um, the nail uh, the tip onto the nail plate the glue should just spread it out like that okay and I did not trim the edges because I feel like again like I said in my last video when you um, I use a scissor to trim it a lot of people are not familiar with that technique it can come out kind of crooked so this is what I like to do now just to show you it's like a more safer uh, a, a safer way to do it okay and now we're gonna level the nails I mean measure the nails by cuticles to cuticles right cuticles to cuticles and then we trim it and then now I'm gonna go in with my bit, the, turn, the tornado bit, to kind of blend the nails to the nail plate, right? The tips to the nail plate. I don't use the sanding band because I feel like the uh, tornado bit is a lot easier and it doesn't get as hot. And this is what I like to do now. I make sure that I file the nail tips evenly to the nail plate see this is the safer way to do it where you might you won't cut the nail tips kind of crooked using the scissor like how I usually do so I like to switch it up a little bit for you guys okay and once this is done we're gonna use number 108 and make sure you tap the uh, acrylic towards you so you see how I kind of tap it like that and then put it on always um, when working with longer nails always try to do two beads i know um we used to be so fixated on doing one bead application but i actually enjoy doing two beads more now um especially with long nails short nails one bead all day long but l um longer nails i now i do two beads i enjoy it and it's kind of like um uh, easier way to actually do it if you do two beads easier to build your apex and also if you are new when you do two, um, two beads it actually gives you more time to work with the acrylic instead of one bead you have to work a lot faster okay I mean you can do both but this is what I like to show now two beads and then when like um, we all say when the acrylic is kind of wetter, make sure you can just kind of tap it into the cuticle first. Hold it, tap it, tap, tap, and then I'm gonna use the body of the brush, kind of drag it off towards the ends. So because I'm using, because once you get to the the acrylic get to the middle of the nail, it kind of set already. So make sure you use the body of the brush to drag it off, okay? Because that is the stronger point of the um, the hair. It, it, it's, it's, it's a little bit stronger so when you apply pressure it actually drags off the acrylic a lot easier than using the tip of the hair where um, at the tip of the brush where the bristle is a lot more um, thinner and more softer okay so again hold it in place you see just tap 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 so when it's runny make sure 
just using your tapping motion to push it in place and then once it's set a little bit more then now i'm just press and pull it towards the tip of the nails so um in my last two the last i think the video where i did the ombre i kind of went into a little bit more details with the powder to um liquid to powder ratio so um if you guys if you guys are new to the channel you can uh, refer back to that video and kind of see how i pick up my bead okay so now just press it into the cuticles and then tap tap you see how i'm kind of pushing it towards and um upward uh, motion before i kind of drag it off towards the end just like that apply a little bit more pressure when you kind of drag it off okay a little bit but not too much pressure when you drag the whole thing off i just blend in the whole the two beads together and then make sure you keep the shape of the nails very very um taper so we don't spend a lot of time um, filing and you guys probably noticed I kind of speed up the video on the application a little bit because a lot a lot all, well not a lot I think all of my videos I kind of I never speed up the um, the acrylic application but I just feel like me explaining my application over and over and over and over after like 20 something videos I feel like I can kind of speed it up to get to the fun part the fun part for me right now is the marbling part so um i'm not gonna go too i'm not gonna take too much time on the application today um and we just kind of get to the the marbling part okay so like i said i always always keep my shape really nice and taper as taper as i can okay just to make sure that um later i won't spend a lot of time shaping the nail so application is the key okay the key to speed application is the key to help you to speed up the process of your set of nails if your application is messy you're gonna spend a lot more time fixing it clean application spend less time filing and shaping so that means you're gonna cut down a lot of the time right okay so flush it into the cuticles always always keep it pretty thin at the cuticles because if it's thick at the cuticles you're gonna spend a lot of time filing around the cuticle and when you over file around the cuticles what happened is um when the client nails come back it might have uh what is it called ring of fire or is it ring of fire i think so or yeah ring of fire you know where if you guys don't know what that is what what that is is um when you over file around the cuticles when the client come back and the nails are grown out what happened is it's gonna have an indent like indentation right where the growth is at and sometimes it looks really really red okay we don't want that that's kind of like that's very damaging to the nail plate so we don't want that so that's why we keep the um application around the cuticles pretty thin okay so we can eliminate over filing around the cuticles and make sure we keep the uh, nails pointed downward direction always point down as you can see always point down and i'm constantly twisting and turning the client's finger because i'm looking at at the application at a different angle and just kind of see um you know make sure everything's nice and even and then make sure we keep it really nice and straight across the nail and um did you guys know not polish had their mystery boxes launch today well not polish did and um i think you guys crashed the website really fast so um we are like pretty shocked how it, it just crashed as soon as they went live with the mystery box and um we cannot thank you, you guys enough for all your love and support. It means so much to us, and it means a lot that you know we 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 put so much love in our product, and it shows by us receiving all the love and support from you guys. It really means everything to us. And once again, thank you guys so much for you know always supporting us and always supporting me by watching my YouTube videos. So thank you. All right, so let's get into a little bit more detail on the uh, filing. As you guys know, I don't do a lot of hand filing. I use my um, 
my e-file to does a lot of my pre-shaping okay so and I'm using the not polish 5 in 1 cross bit I always mention that the not polish 5 the not polish 5 in 1 cross bit has a um, it's a safety bit so it's actually easy very easy for you to pre-shape the nails with the e-file using this bit and it will uh, save you a lot of time so on the left okay on the left we're gonna go downward right on the left we're gonna bring it down from the top all the way down to the bottom bring it down and kind of follow the bottom of the nails as well on the right we're gonna bring it upward you see that and then kind of level it together like this level level kind of bring it on the side and kind of down a little bit see down Okay, so now this is dry, down, down, down. So always keep in mind the left, we always go down and the right, we always go up like this. But sometimes you go, you do go downward on the um, right as well. It just, once you get comfortable with doing this, I think you can go any direction that you guys want. It's, it's quite simple once you get it down. But for anybody who's starting new, the, 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 the rule is go down on the left and go right and go up on the right so down from the left down down you just have to kind of come pull it down and then now we're gonna go in and smooth out the top of the nails first section first around the cuticle and the mid of the nails so always divide in three section top middle and the end you see smooth all of it out top bottom and the end always when you guys are smoothing out the top always look at it at the at an angle because when you look at from directly from the top down sometimes you don't see where it's uneven at okay so all the way down just like that and then always down and then a little bit more of the shaping Okay, a little bit more of the shape in and you can you can kind of see how the shape looks pretty taper pretty good already without even without me even using the hand file on it you see this is why I love pre-shaping with my e-file it took a little bit of practice in the beginning but did you know if you want to really practice doing the e-filing I think practicing on your self your own hand so it's actually I think that's the easiest so the easiest way to do it is kind of like practicing on your own hands because um that way you can kind of feel if you you get close to the skin or you know if you cut yourself by accident you know how bad it hurts okay so first divide it in three again so I'm gonna find the first part the second part and the third part of the nails okay so first right around the cuticles right there 30% of the nails and then now we move to the middle of the nail and then the tip of the nail so always divide it in three sections and give it one nice wipe all together like this see one long file like that at the end and smooth and then we are gonna straight across I don't spend a lot of time doing across like this because when I apply you notice that I told you guys that I use my brush to kind of really straighten out the tip of the nail so it will be a lot faster for me to straighten out the top so you can kind of see a little bit like this see go in and file Okay, let's go in a little bit more detail. First part first, first part, second part, and third. So every time you guys fire, just remember, just hear my voice. First, the top area, the top area, and the mid area, and then the third part is the tip. And once that's done, give it one nice long stroke of file all together like this and straight across. Remember, every time we do nails, it has to be tapered from all the way from the top all the way to the tip because we can't just have it tapered at just the tip of the nail and it's really wide and bulky at the top, okay? These, um, these, these fingernails are getting a little loose on me. <laughs> okay, top, so top, first part, second part, and third part. 
third part at the end okay at the end and another reminder again guys me and me nailed it are having a class coming up pretty soon i think like in two weeks so there's still time for you guys to sign up and there is still room for you guys to sign up so if you guys are interested make sure you guys head over to my instagram and look at the numbers on the flyer and send us a text message and somebody will reply to you with all the uh, the details all right now that's good we're gonna go in and give it a nice um i'm gonna use a cuticle bit a, a cuticle bit is kind of like a cone bit like this it's also a very safety bit so we're gonna go in and this is how you kind of seal the cuticle a little bit more if i it, it just makes things look a lot more nicer and more flush around the cuticles when you go in with this cuticle bit and kind of make things super round and nice around the cuticle and kind of seal it even a little bit better okay and this bit is also available on not polished as well you see nice and smooth around the cuticles so guys what you know it's really sometimes kind of hard to decide what kind of video tutorial I I should do for you guys because um, a lot of things I'm like oh my gosh th this seem a little bit too easy for you guys I need something harder or like um, I, I, I kind of run out of ideas so leave me a, a comment down below on what type of nails I should do and I'm just using gel polishes today you can use any color actually any color you want and um, these are the colors I picked and um, before we do anything I am gonna drop each color in like a small glob pretty much like a round glob of polish like that okay and then we're gonna use a blossom gel when working with the blossom gel it tends to run a little bit because not the um, gel polish when we put it on is kind of thick as well so do not push the blossom gel all the way to the cuticle leave a gap okay and only like go straight down like in the middle don't put it on this don't have the blossom gel all on the side of the nails or around the cuticles I'm using the not polish uh, ombre um, brush it's kind of like a flat brush right here I'm gonna scoop it up it doesn't matter how you scoop it up and you can just kind of put it on and again do not put the blossom gel or this gel all the way to the cuticles because by the time we're working with it it might runs all into the cuticles and it won't look good it will look very very sloppy okay so leave a gap okay guys leave a gap and don't paint it all the way to the edges on this uh, on both sides of the nails as well it will run towards that and you know sometimes I didn't like the way that looked I just wiped it off and kind of start over sometimes you won't like what you put on because it with marbling it's um it, it has a mind of its own also you can you know plan it out certain things and when you scoop it up and you lay it down it did not turn out like how you like it just wipe it off and start over and it's really fast okay so scoop up the paint I put it I'm gonna put it on and look I'm gonna twist the brush a little bit to kind of like scoop it onto the nails you see how I kind of turn the brush a little bit that way um, the polish can kind of just um, spill onto the nails does that make sense Okay, so scoop it up like this, right? And then I'm gonna put it on. And as I put it on, you see how I'm kind of twisting the brush? There you go. And this is the, the um, it, a little technique that I kind of discover by just messing around with marbling. And with this technique, you guys can notice that um, the marbling, it's not, it, it's not really like super blend, like bleed onto each other, it, it kind of, it's a different kind of spread it's kind of like you see how the white is like it's kind of bigger and it's not like morphing into the it's not bleeding into the purple too much it's it's just a little bit different look than um the other technique that we usually do okay i'm going to show you guys that technique in a minute in a minute to see the differences okay usually I won't use my finger to wipe off the edges, the, the polish that's running on the side because by doing that, sometime I'm going to remove too much of the polish and what happens is it's going to um, look like I didn't paint the edges. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually using that same brush to kind of um, brush it alongside the edges like that. It will take off the polish that's running on the side and it also won't 
remove too much where it looks like you're missing polishes on the edges of the nails okay so use that same brush you see that because we already have some paint on the brush so when we brush it down it won't look like that um, we remove too much and it will look like we have missing paint on the edges does that make sense so just use the same brush and you see the longer you wait the more the um, the, the paint kind of the polish kind of just um, spread it, it, it looks pretty it's pretty cool it's pretty easy so I'm just gonna let it spread a little bit like that and then once that's done hey if your light is weak make sure you cure this for at least 60 seconds okay because it is a little bit thicker so if you under cure it's gonna get bubbly so make sure if your lamp is a little bit older make sure you over cure it. and this is how it looks like okay hey let's let's try the technique that I was talking about like a different technique. okay make sure again we don't paint it all the way to the cuticles and just kind of straight down in the middle because we don't we're not we don't want it on the edges because it will run and this is the technique I was talking about we're gonna use a little brush to kind of create that little marble already and then we scoop it up and what happened is with this look the um the the, the way mar the marble and look looks how cool that looks but you see you notice how the line is actually a little bit more smaller does that make sense you see the 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 the, the marble and it looks kind of okay let's compare let's do the a different a different technique on the bottom they both look equally cool but it's just a different look okay so look i'm gonna scoop instead instead of I'm gonna scoop up this whole piece. You see how this one is actually chunkier, chunkier pieces. It's not like running into each other. It's not like, um, what do you call it? It's not as small. Does that make sense? I'm struggling with explaining this, but you notice, you can see the differences, right? One is bigger and the other one is kind of like more finer veins. Like I said, they both look cool, but they both have different looks. Okay, it's two different looks. Okay, again, I'm using my brush to kind of keep, I'm gonna keep, what I'm keep doing is removing that paint on the edges, okay? And then we're gonna cure it under the light for 60 seconds always cure for 60 seconds if you guys are unsure because this is a little bit thicker so do over cure then under cure okay when you under cure it's gonna bubble up and it's gonna get ruined again scoop up the whole paint and just kind of drop it on and twist your brush you see you see that the the, the marbling is, is different from what we had on i'm um, going on on the um, ring finger at the top right so Two different looks I, I i i like them both but you know sometimes we gotta switch it up a little bit now i'm just gonna remove you see how it, even without me painting the um ombre gel the blossom gel to the edges it still runs pretty well so make sure don't do that okay put it on and twist your brush a little bit put it on and we're gonna twist the brush you see that twist the brush twist the brush <laughs> Okay, and then we're gonna use our brush to kind of swipe off the edges. Okay, the more, the longer we take to do this, the more it's gonna run and the more the paint is actually gonna spread. So, if you want it to spread more, you're just gonna have, you're just gonna let it sit longer and it will just spread more and bleed into each other a little bit more. But if you feel like it's good, then you can cure it, okay? And as we wait, it's gonna run on the edges like so. And using the same brush, I'm gonna clean it. And sometimes you get it a little bit on the skin. Now you use your finger and just wipe off the skin like that. Okay. All right. Look how you, you see the difference with this marble than the one on the ring finger. This reminds me of planet Saturn. Is it Saturn or, or like a planet? Right. It's, it looks pretty cool. Okay. So again, straight down all the way to the middle. Down the middle. Scoop this up and just drop it down drop it yeah so you probably noticed I did a set like this with the nude the nude nude the nude colors on my Instagram as well and yeah the fun part is with marbling you can do any color you want okay any color and what does this remind you guys of kind of like watercolor as well 
a little bit like watercolor too, huh? Okay, okay, we're gonna try this technique again. Look, this is the one that we usually do. And then we scoop it up. I'm just doing it too so we can have like a comparison in a way. This looks pretty cool too. You see how it looks cool? But it, it does bleed in a little bit much, a little bit more than than what I'm going for. So, I mean, this one doesn't look as blood in, I mean like small, I don't know. You get the point. Look how cool that looks. And then again, using your brush to kind of taper the edges down. And then now, what we're doing right now is gonna use a small art brush to go around the cuticles, you see? This way, you're gonna keep your cuticles clean and it doesn't, um, it, the polish didn't bleed into the cuticle so you see that just swipe on and then just brush in okay if you guys make sure this is a very important part okay if you guys push it all the way to the cuticle it's gonna run all over the cuticle so make sure you guys don't put it too close to the cuticles and just paint it around the cuticles just like this okay and um paint it around that you see super super quick and that way you can get a more cleaner look around the cuticles and then just wipe off your brushes I don't soak in anything I just wipe it off and then I'm gonna go in with the not polished matte top coat matte top coat and then I'm gonna cure it for at least 60 seconds with this just to be sure that everything is super dry and um, we're gonna cure it all together okay make sure you brush it on all over the place I mean, all over the nails <laughs> Brush, brush, and then wipe. Give it a little bit of a, a nice little love tap. Boom, boom, right across. Lightly, lightly, boom. Ooh, nice. Okay, now we're gonna cure it for 60 seconds and look at this. That looks different than, um, right? Does it look different? I think it looks different, but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video.